Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back with a brand new strategy for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually get to end games with god loot including guaranteed P90 every single game. This strat basically revolves around the new fishing meta because fishing is just so broken this season that I just can't let it go like that. So just before we get in all of that, be sure to do me a favor and drop a like on the video. It just means a world to me and it just takes 5 seconds. So please do that and with that said, I hope you enjoy the video. I'm gonna catch you in the end. Alright, so as for the landing spot, you gotta land at this area behind Holly Hedges. This area contains a couple of houses, but that's not really that important. The important part is that there are so many fishing holes here. So you can just quickly loot all the houses and then just start fishing. Now let me just show you all the locations for these fishing spots here. Now here also comes an important part. So if you find any shield fishes or slurp fishes, I would highly recommend you guys to not use them instantly even if you're not full shield because when you come to this area behind, there are so many slurp cans here that, can, that you can just quickly heal up from them and get full shield. So please do not use your slurp fishes or shield fishes because you can actually carry them and use the, and save them for later. Now as for getting the guaranteed P90, so when you come here, you gotta come to this uh, Chuggers, whatever his name is, and just battle him out because he have guaranteed P90 every single game. So just fight him out, he has pretty butt cheeks aim, he won't be able to kill you at all. Just kill him out and you'll get guaranteed P90 every single game. It's actually like it's actually gold for controller players especially but even on p even on keyboard and mouse it's actually so broken that you can just quickly get a quick p90 then after that you can just continue your strategy of getting fishers and all and yeah now as you can see the zone is coming and i have two extra fishes to carry so what i'm going to be doing i'm just going to be using my rift fish and instantly pick up the second item that's how you can be more efficient at carrying things now i'm about to get top 25 placement so what i'm going to be doing i'm just going to be landing at weeping woods farm up all my mats and then once i get top 25 placement i'm going to be start w king that's just my personal preference if you want to wait to start w king till top 15 or top 5 that's totally fine all you need to do is you just need to go around the sand area and then just hide in sand just settle down in the sand and just move around and hide beside any of the rocks and no one will be able to notice you. And even if someone does notice you, you can just use your rift fish and get out of that fight. That's how easy it is to get placement points this season. Now here comes the part when you will actually feel the advantage of this strategy. Now suppose you're in a situation like me, the opponent lets you 1 HP in zone, he's taking storm fight with you, you cannot do anything, he's not letting you heal up, he's not letting you move to the zone. Now in this situation, what you can do, you can just use your rift fish and get out of there. Now because you were boxed in your box, it will take a while for that guy to catch your rift and you will be long gone by then, he won't be able to catch you and you can just quickly come up to any house or any area quickly box up and then just heal up now there are a couple of more locations where you can do the strategy on the map one of them being this area behind misty meadows and weather station this is also a really good area and i managed to get pretty good loot with it as you can see on the screen now here comes a question that what if i don't find a single drift fish Will I still be able to take advantage of the strategy? And the answer is yes. Don't you guys worry because this has happened to me. Here's a gameplay of that game where I didn't find a single rift fish but I still managed to win that game. Check this out.
Alright guys, so that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe to my channel. Well, other than that, it's been Zenoko and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.